Every day in Japan, more than 1.75 million or around 7 tons food trays are recycled. Many supermarkets in Japan provide dedicated recycling stations. Consumers place used food trays into collection boxes, separating materials by type. From there, the trays are sent to sorting facilities such as FP Center and Fukuyama Hiroshima. On the conveyor belt, about 40 workers sort the trays. Patterned and white trays are separated, while unrecyclable items such as noodle cups or natto containers are removed. FP also collects transparent containers. These undergo additional sorting. Any container with full stickers coloring our contamination is excluded. The rest are lined up for inspection, and if misplaced, they return to the belt for another check. An advanced infrared identification system sorts 8,000 trays per hour, separating them into four main categories, OPS, PET, PP, and others. OPS, for example, is a transparent plastic widely used in supermarkets. Once sorted, trays are shredded. Foreign objects are removed by a wind sorting machine. The fragments are cleaned first with room temperature water, then with warm water and detergent. After rinsing and dehydration, the pieces are crushed further into smaller flakes. These flakes are then melted and extruded, forming tiny plastic pellets the size of a grain of rice. White trays become white pellets, patterned trays become patterned pellets. White pellets are recycled into new food trays, while black pellets are sold to other companies to be made into different products. Finally, the recycled pellets are molded into new trays, some even shaped creatively, such as Epicode's watermelon-style designs. Through this cycle, what was once waste returns to store shelves as new products.